shit was loud as hell. So, swag to the wheels here. You guys will never guess what I did today. Hold on. I took a shower. Pretty crazy, right? <clears throat> so, um, yeah, this is what's left of the snow still. But, um, this is, we're coming out here for a reason. Got something in the mail. And I'm not particularly sure why I bought this. Mainly because it was cheap. But I bought um EGR block off plate or EGR delete. And uh I'm not exactly too sure why I bought it. I just read up saying it's good, it's better for the engine, so, I mean, you get worse gas, slightly worse, or whatever, worse gas mileage, but you get, uh, just better all engine performance, because, because the EGR is the exhaust gas recirculation, that's what it stands for, for the few of you who don't know, and basically, at a certain RPM, the EGR opens and it basically takes in exhaust exhaust gas and puts it back through the intake so to burn any um, to burn any excess fuel that went through that wasn't burnt so that's also hot air and cold air is thicker air which is room room so yeah so I'm gonna put this EGR delete in and uh, Hopefully it'll do, uh, hopefully the engine will feel different. A lot of people say they have better, a lot better throttle response. So hopefully that's what we'll get out of it. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back when we have the tools. Also, I forgot to mention, um, my lip fell off. And, um, basically, it's in the trunk. It kind of ripped off. It's all good. I think I can make it go back on, but... Anyway, back to the EGR delete. So you want to start off, you got to get this coil pack out of the way. So it's, there's two 12 millimeter bolts. Where's the other one? I don't know. Oh, right back there. Remove those and then just move the whole thing over. Get that out of the way real quick. Oh yeah, I need two hands. So once you get this out of the way, it's just those two 12 millimeter bolts and then you can lift it off. So let's do that real quick. All right, so we have it off. There you see, there's a gasket and the two holes. So basically, I have to get that gasket off down there. Okay, that gasket is not going anywhere. So. I mean, this came with a cardboard type gasket. You know, as I was saying, um, I'm not sure if I was going to put this cardboard piece on or not. Because I don't want it to, like, burn. But I'm pretty sure no gases go through there if it's blocked off. So I don't think it'll burn at all. Like, it's made out of cardboard for some reason. But I guess it's a really cheap form of gasket. But, you know. That, oh, shit. And the other other gasket's definitely not coming off, so I guess I'm gonna double gasket it. I guess. <laughs> oh, I definitely gotta spray some WD-40 on those. Getting a little rusty. But yeah, let's do that. All right, so uh, that's how it looks. Took a little bit of elbow grease, but it's on there. And I just put everything back on, and uh, we'll go for a test drive. All right, here we go. First start.
so yeah we're doing a little update with the EGR delete so it's been about a week and a half or so since I recorded the first part of this video and now when the car is cold this is this is what's new the car when the car is cold it throws a check engine light and but when the car is warm it goes away but um when the check engine light is on it's like the car runs rich as fuck because it backfires like crazy when the check engine light's on. But when I turn the car off, turn it back on, like the backfires stop almost. It's really weird. But um, let's see how she, and also it's very hard for her to start, but it is extremely warm today, so maybe it'll start right up. So let's see. Nah. Ghetto setups, guys. I'm sorry. I can fit bit more 
more driving shots and then we'll uh, then we'll go to the dentist and come back and finish up the video. Yeah. After my dentist appointment, you know we will see how she uh, she's doing when she's cold. I mean, when she's warmed up, because you'll see it dries completely differently when it's warm. All right, I'm just gonna elaborate a little bit more on uh, how it runs when it's cold. I mean, how it runs without the check engine light. So clearly, what you just saw, how it runs with the check engine light, and it's boom, 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 boom. And I didn't, and right before this. video and then I'll I'll meet you guys there all right what? I'm gonna finish the video and then I'll meet you there